I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire Vero laptop. This one is the exact model is an AV15-52-77MH and that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker. And in today's video I'm gonna take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can repaste clean the CPU, the fans and everything inside of the laptop. This is a brand new laptop out of the box and I'm going to open it for you guys based on the request that you guys been putting in. Uh, it's pretty clean but I'm going to still open it and repaint but yours might be really dirty. And I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a workshop towel. One sheet of the workshop towel is more than enough. It's very very important that you get an alcohol is an isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol 95% or 99% plus nothing under 95 percent please you will need a screwdriver set i recommend you the iFixit screwdriver set kit they have a basic kit which is just a screwdriver and they have a pro set which they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if you get a pro if you don't have the pro set get the basic set for the opening tools i'll be using a guitar pick a metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening this type of service all right and the most important one it's a Thermal paste. I recommend you guys to grab the Arctic MX4 or if you want to go over the board, go with uh, Thermal Grizzly Fire Up. I'll leave those links in the video description in case you want to grab yours. Alright, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. You want to grab yourself a Phillips number zero. And we're going to see a whole bunch of screws down here. And we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws. Keep all the screws in one pile, they are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So I'm going to remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out through your own upgrade and repaste and servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It makes big help and motivates me to make more, help, uh, more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove all the screws, all you need to do is to grab your opening tool. In this case, a guitar pick that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use about one or two millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm gonna stick it in the bottom, between the bottom and top chassis, and we're gonna twist it. Stick it and twist it. And you wanna hear a click sound. Those are the clips that are getting loose. That's what you wanna hear. You wanna do that all around in the back end, to the corner, Stick it right in the corner and twist it. Do the side. I usually do the side and the back end. But you, if you want, you can go all the way to the front end too. I usually keep it right at the back because I'm going to show you guys. But if you feel like you want to do the front end too, you can do it. Okay, once I do this side, again, front is the same thing. You can I'll just grab it from the back, wiggle it around gently, pull it off, and it will automatically release the front end, which are these clips right over here. Now you can go ahead and clean up, use a toothbrush, old toothbrush, and clean up the bottom case in case yours is kind of dirty. There is no dust mesh in here, don't know why. All right, and down here you're gonna see two nice fans, one CPU, and two nice copper tubing right over there when we see the big battery first thing first we're going to disconnect the battery by removing the gaffer tape right over the cables we're going to put the finger right at the uh, jack right here at the back on the side of the jack right there, and we're going to pull it back evenly make sure you pull back evenly and once it's disconnected put the connector to one side so next we're going to work on the uh, fans. We're going to remove two screws on each fan. All right. Once you remove the screw, also it's handy to have a, a tweezers, a curved tweezers. What I use the tweezers for, remove the gaffer tape on this side. So we can remove the cable for the fan right there. Now we're going to put the tweezers on the side of the jack because I can't reach my fingers. I cut my fingernails. So I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to wiggle it around and release the jack. So I don't have to pull on these tiny cables. Same thing in here. The jack goes the other way around. Up. 
pull on the side and wiggle around and remove and pull up the fan right there and you can use a toothbrush clean yours if yours is dirty this is brand new same thing on this one take it outside and clean it up and now if you don't want to remove the heat sink you can just go ahead with a toothbrush clean this one without removing the heat sink but if you want to repaste remove the three screws that touches the X clamp over the CPU Next, you want to don't grab it from here, grab it close to the CPU and wiggle it around and lift it up. And there we have it. There's a nicely fresh thermal paste right here. To clean the old thermal paste, yours might be really dried out. So, you want to grab a little piece of the workshop towel and we're going to soak it in in an alcohol. So, what are we going to do? We're just going to wipe over the CPU dies. And we're gonna remove all the excess of the thermal paste in here in a circular motion. Just go in between and clean both of the dies. Flip it inside out and do it like that. Same thing on the heat sink. Just grab it and wipe out. Use a dry part to do a second pass. Okay, just remember this is a CPU die and this is a PCH chip right here. Before they used to have this PCH chip separated from the CPU. Now for lowering the cost and everything else, they ingredient they're putting it on the same CPU chip beside the CPU chip. So this is the not as part of the CPU. It's part of the CPU, but it's a PCH chip that dedicates on file transfer and having it close to the cpu it makes a little better performance now what we're going to do we're going to grab a one line of the thermal paste on the main die and one tiny drop on the secondary die once we have that one in there all you need to do is to grab the heat sink bring it evenly over the cpu once you put it down do not lift it up if you lift it up you have to repaste redo the whole work right put it down and tighten up the screws i put number one and there's a little number beside them put number two and number two next is to just grab the fan before you put sit down the fan connect the cables bring it down and only sideways stick it all the way inside the jack and put the fan right beside it stick the tape right over same thing here first put the jack in and next put the fan right in there now you can tape it these are gaffers tape you can buy the gaffers tape if you want but if you don't put a tape nothing is going to happen if you tape it down it's sticky enough just remove it trash it and we're going to put the four screws for both of the uh, fans two on each Now, we're gonna last thing down here is to grab the connector for the battery and we're gonna align it and we're gonna stick it straight inside the jack and we're gonna pinch it right in there straight. Don't go sideways, really important. I see many people damage their motherboard because they put a sideways in. And put the cafe set right over and we should be set to go. We're gonna grab the bottom cover, we're gonna bring it over we're gonna set it down, we're gonna punch the corners down, we pinch them in. Make sure you hear those big sound. Push the back side in the corners and in the mid. And the last thing is to put the bottom screws all over wherever there is a screw hole. And that concludes today's servicing. I hope you guys liked it and it helped you guys out. And if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws on the bottom.